Hi everyone, Courtney here and welcome back to the AC Test Kitchen. So today I'm super excited because today we're going to make butter. And I can hear you. Why would you make your own butter, Courtney, when you can just buy it in the grocery store? And I think a better question is, why wouldn't you make your own butter? It's so easy to make your own butter. It's very cost effective and it's 10 times better than anything that you can buy in the grocery store. And you only need three ingredients if you want salted butter, cream, kefir or yogurt and salt. And that's it. And one of the benefits to homemade butter is that you can control the fat content in your butter. So the, the stuff that you can buy in the grocery store is usually between like 82 and like 84% fat. If you can find a nice artisanal butter, which there are a few on the market, you, push, you can push into that 85, 86% butter fat, which is really the sweet spot for butter. And it is just amazing. So without further ado, we are gonna make some butter. Let's do it. Okay, you're going to start by taking four cups of cream and adding them to a bowl. If you can find a low heat pasteurized cream, that would really be ideal. It's not the easiest thing to find, so we're just using a nice organic cream for this. And then you're going to take half a cup of kefir or yogurt, and this will introduce all sorts of great uh, cultures to your cream and it will create magic. Give this a stir so that all of that kefir gets incorporated with your milk. And then you're going to cover it with cheesecloth or a towel or a paper towel and you're gonna put this on your counter for at least two days, preferably three. So after three days, and because I was prepared, I already had one of these ready to go, um, your cream is going to look ideally like creme fraiche. So it's going to be a little bit chunky. Don't get freaked out. That just means you did everything right. So you're just going to put this in your stand mixer with your whisk attachment, and you are going to beat this sucker. So this is gonna go through three stages. You're gonna get whipped cream, and I mean, you could stop there, but why? And then it's going to take on a more of a frosting-like consistency, and then you're going to start to see the pieces of fat separate from the liquid, which is when we'll stop beating this. So you're going to drain off the liquid, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is real buttermilk. You can't buy this at your grocery store. And you can use this to make pancakes or waffles or biscuits or scones or any number of tasty treats. So now we're gonna squeeze out some of the moisture. And it's really important that you get all of the buttermilk out of the butter because if you don't, it will go bad very, very quickly. So you're going to take your butter and you're going to submerge it in ice water and you're going to keep squeezing the butter until the liquid that comes out of it is clear. Squeeze as much of that water out of it as you can and then bring it over and we'll just give it a quick little pat dry, some paper towels, and then we will transfer it over to a piece of wax paper and this is where we'll start to salt the butter if you want it salted. If you don't want it salted, that's fine. This is also the step where you can go crazy, add some miso, add some sriracha, add some herbs. I mean, the options really endless here, guys. And there you have it, homemade butter. It really doesn't get much easier than that. And if you're wondering if I'm gonna eat this like cheese, yeah, I am. Don't judge me.